Uh, okay. Greetings, world, and greetings, Seven Spot. Today, I am doing something a bit uh, special, and it's a bit different. Um, we're not doing a virtual and socially distant sevens today. What I am going to be doing is asking the question, why for builders, and how long did it take? And to do that, um, we're interviewing different people who you know, built uh, sevens or built cars. And today, we are uh, speaking to Nathan Engdahl. How are you today, Nathan? Okay. That's very cool. So I'm going to uh, turn it over to you, and you're going to tell us a bit about your car. Let's see if we can see it. There's Dave's, ah, yeah, Dave's there it is. frame. Dave's frame. Hang from the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like I said, if you look, it's you can barely see pieces of it buried underneath a lot of car parts, but there's there's one buried underneath all that crap. There's a fender. <laughs> And uh, another fender. There's the molds for the 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 the, the nose cone that I'm working on. One yeah, of these yeah. years, I don't know if you <laughs> if you've seen uh what was the the musical Fiddler on the Roof? Oh yeah. The, the Jews would say next year in Jerusalem. Yes, well, yes. Next year in Jerusalem, I'll fill it. I'll finish my seven. <laughs> you know but, what? Uh, I, I'm also. Hey, I'm I'm with you. I mean, if I got my my seven build. I'm a kit builder. I'm not a, a scratch builder. So believe me, I I've got nothing but I'm nothing but chuffed for you. I have nothing but respect for guys who build their own. But I know I've got so many friends who've been lost in the process, and that's why I'm doing this because I want to you know build us up so that we can find a way to keep our eye on that small little light at the end of the tunnel. I've, I've actually, I've talked to a lot of people and I've recommended it. Cause I mean, I figure I have five to 7,000 in mind and mm -hmm. I've splurged on a lot of stuff that I don't need to yeah. like I've mine's turbocharged. So there was money, you know, redoing it, you know, getting the ECU doing it in the turbo. I mean, there's, there's things on there that weren't completely necessary, but you know, I don't care. I wanted it that way. Yeah. So as you can see, you know, like, like doing my own body work, yeah, the scuttle's pretty much the only thing on it that I didn't make myself. Yeah, the uh, the suspension is uh, the, that was the first prototype set of jacks. Mm -hmm. Jack McCormick from uh, uh, Kinetic Vehicles. Yeah, that was the first set that that the first production set, and I had to go and do mod. You know, I had to cut them and reweld them and modify and make them fit, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and I uh, know he, if, if you look at the pictures on his website, mm -hmm. the, uh, it talks, all those pictures are mine or of my car when he came oh, and yeah. visited almost all of them. Uh, there's things that I had to do to be pretty creative. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to see down in there, but the, uh, the brakes are jacks as well. Yeah. Um, uh, I was making sure you were there. That's his, his, uh, they're designed for a single cylinder and I have, uh, dual master cylinders. Yeah, so I had to do a bunch of, a bunch of modification to them to, yeah. to have dual cylinders. Okay, you're fine. Um, yeah, as you can see, the tarp doesn't seem to cover all the water all the time. So every mm -hmm. once in a while when I fire this up, I have to go pull the plugs out and blow it off. Yeah, yeah. I, I intended on keeping it in the garage, but uh, that didn't end up working. Yeah. I started initially with no dashboard, and I was originally going to have like a four-inch uh, 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 windscreen, an arrow screen. Mm -hmm. And eventually... And, and, Funny story. When I went to go get the, the title taken for this here in Ohio, I I went up there. I had no screen at all, and they. I think personally that the uh, the state troopers they have to find something so they feel like they're useful, mm -hmm. and they you know. So they're looking. They're looking. And they're looking. I mean, there's plenty of things they could be complaining about. I have. I have, uh, see, I don't think I had the turbo charge at the time, so I did have exhaust on it, so they couldn't complain about that. But there were plenty of other stuff, and they decided that I needed a windscreen and windshield wipers, and I needed a rear bumper. 
I know. And I kind of looked and scratched my head and said, well, okay. So I went back and I got the first, I got the first of my arrow screens. These are from Brooklyn Moss mini because these are actually retro, uh, uh, the reproductions of the, of the arrow screens used on the, uh, MGB, I believe. Or is it the MGA? Yeah. One of them. So I put those on and I looked for a wiper and the smallest wipers I could find were still too big. Even mechanical, whatever. So I took a six inch bathroom squeegee <laughs> and hung it on a lanyard and tied the lanyard to the to the to the mount over here on the corner. Yeah. And if you take this off, you can still see the double sided tape that was on there. And I had two bathroom hooks on there, so it kind of rested on the bathroom hooks. Yeah. And I and uh, for the the for the the rear bumper, I took uh, two pieces of one inch square sticking out, and then I put one and a half over or one and a quarter over it that yeah. slid over and put clevises. Yeah. With a piece of exhaust pipe I had hanging around, and I went up there, and they looked at me kind of funny because I was using the letter of the law, if not the spirit of the law. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, but it immediately got out, pulled the clevises out, threw it in the back, and. and called it it took the you know got rid of the wiper the the squeegee and that was good enough for them so it was surprisingly simple to get registered here in ohio now again i've heard horror stories yeah i purposely avoided the local one yeah yeah and uh and went to cleveland which i ended up putting 150 miles of legal driving without tags license vin number uh to you know going there and back but uh, <laughs> I did end up going to the local ones for that Subaru in the background. That got hit pretty hard, and I got it a uh, salvage title. And they didn't look at anything. They just wanted to look at my the VIN number and the engine VIN number. And that's all they cared about. So I, I, you know, I think it may be you know hit and miss on whoever you're dealing with. That's exactly so, right. Um, trying to think. I, I mean, there's retrospect. There's plenty of things I would have done differently. Mm-hmm. Um, but, and everybody, people know me all over the place that I have no idea who these people are, but like, yeah, you have that cool car. And, and the, <laughs> one of the most annoying things, oh, it's a go-kart. No, it's not just, mm. yeah, it's one of my <laughs> personal pet peeves on that, but I, I hear that a lot or the rat rod and that's a lot closer. I, cause I, when I go to car shows, I tend to hang out with the rat rod guys cause I'm never going to win any, any, no. uh, no, concours no. Yeah, with no, this. <laughs> and 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 that's why it's not finished is because i've you know doing all the aluminum myself really hampered me mm-hmm. in the fact that i really don't like driving around with the aluminum stuff because i've got so much time and effort into that if it gets wrecked i don't know if i could do it again yeah. so i've been working on making molds because i know there were at least back in the day there was four or five people who would have been interested in buying my nose cones yeah. Cause mine's are, mine is different than most of the other ones. It, you'll yeah. have to mind the uh, colony of ants that appear to have taken over my nose cone, but you can see it's got the, the more almost like a shark yeah. nose. Cause instead of having the straight up and down, I didn't like the straight up and down uh, look of the original nose cone. So um, I'm going to take off, get my, uh, yeah, I wish I could start it and drive it, but yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, so I'm going to put this down for a second, see so I can scoot it back a little more. Cool. Can I ask you a question while you're sure? Doing go it? ahead. The question I was going to ask is the question that I sent you that we're kind of looking at because um, everybody that I've, I've posed this question to has had a different perspective, but. What's the big why? Why did you decide to build this? It's actually, I had actually been in a bad accident. Some, some lady, I had, I had a Mini Cooper S, an 04 Mini Cooper S, and I had a lot of money put in it. And that was my, that was my car. I had all sorts of stuff done to it. And I had been in a pretty bad accident, and it was out of commission for four months. And just a bunch of stuff happened. You know, I was kind of, kind of bummed about it. And I, I'm the kind of person who can't win. I'll be missing a sticker in the jack in the in the Cracker Jacks box. <laughs> Somehow I, I won some draw some attendance drawing where I worked for 2,500 bucks, and uh, 
I also happen to have, uh, what is it, uh, Grassroots Motorsports Magazine, and they had an article on some of the guys from the forum showing mm-hmm. their cars. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I think maybe I'll do this because I oh, didn't yeah. have anything else to do. Yeah. And so after reading that, I said, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go make one. So that's what started that. So, uh, you know, that the 2,500 bucks got really the majority of it to you know that I needed to run it. Mm-hmm. And from there on, it's just been a matter of adding a little bit here, a little bit there. And did you use, do you mind if I ask, the, the USA um, uh, low-cost form to, to be of assistance? Sorry, hold on. What's that? Did you use the low-cost USA forum to help? Uh, yeah, that's actually, I believe that's where I started because that's where I bought the book. Mm-hmm. And uh, and those who actually use the the original, not the Haynes book, but the original, uh, I can't think of his name, Champion, Ron Champion. Champion. Cha- Champion. His uh, there are a few discrepancies in there, which I learned the hard way. My frame is actually twenty millimeters shorter than the original. Oh yeah. Because I I had been doing something, and until it wasn't until I had already finished it, and it was wait a minute, that doesn't match. <laughs> um, but Here's the, this shows you idea how, how compact and crammed everything is in there. Wow. Um, and, I, and again, a lot of things are, I had to use what I had. I got that, that inner cooler for free. That's mm-hmm. off a uh, Nissan 300 ZX. Oh yeah. It's one of the two of them and it's already angled. So I was like, well, okay. So it's angled. It is now. Yeah. The, I think by one of my, one of my, my, uh, my prize jobs and i need to have it sent and wrapped or uh uh, uh ceramic is the exhaust as the uh the headers are, are equal, equal length that's beautiful that's uh equal length three qu- 38 and three quarter inch with a plus or minus quarter inch wow. uh equal length primaries made a schedule uh schedule 40 uh plumbing steel uh, iron elbows and that's a twin uh, twin scroll turbo, so that so they actually go into two separate ports on there. That was that was a lot of work. Yeah. But um. Yeah. And and that's question number one is the why part. So we figured out that. How about question number two? How long did it take from start to finish? It's not done, so it's taken a while. Yeah, but I, I mean, started. It, I started in two thousand six. Uh-huh. I legally was driving it, I want to say in 2011, but it had actually, I know, uh, yes, I know you're listening, NSA. Um, oh. I, I, uh, I drove it with, uh, with a, with a plates off something else with, uh, at, uh, uh, who was it? I think it was, an, I find, who is it? Uh, Dave Hempy, I believe. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Was, I yeah. believe it was in Kentucky. I think that I think that's who it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We had a couple of meets down there, and I, I had it towed down there, and uh, and we I I took the I think I took the plates off my Jeep and put it on there, and we drove for three hours wandering around. So it, it had seen quite a bit of driving, but it was always things like you know a little a little scoot up and down the back roads for a while. But it it took me so it took me five years before it was road legal. Mm-hmm. But it was it was probably I want to say we had it up and running after two, yeah, roughly. Wow, that is so cool. That's so, what this is all about. Is you know I, I just find that these these cars really do, are just sort of a canvas, so you can sort of paint uh, the stories of your life. That's what I, I love about it. It's re- that's what I why I, I invited you to do this is because it's for me it's exciting about the cars, and I built one too from a kit. Granted. But it's the stories. That's really the, the most compelling part for me. Well, I, you know, I actually started this before I had really learned. Like, I learned how to weld on this car. I learned how to make and TIG weld on this car. Mm-hmm. I went to uh, Lincoln's uh, motorsports class, mm-hmm. Lincoln Welding's motorsports class, to learn to get better at learning how to aluminum, uh, wel- TIG weld aluminum. So that's, I bought a TIG welder mm-hmm. and was basically teaching myself how to TIG weld. And I was like... Eh. It's holding. It's not very pretty, but it's holding. Mm-hmm. And I went there, and and you know, I learned a little. I learned a little more, but I've just been kind of figuring this up. I'm now 
I now do uh, CNC machining and CAD design. So, I mean, looking back, if I was doing this now, a a lot of things probably would be a little bit easier now. Mm -hmm. And well, not to mention, I've got three frames under my belt now. Yeah. Um, I've gotten sloppy. I went from the half millimeter tolerance I had on this frame to, uh, I think, a mil and a half on the other one. Okay. But, uh, and you've got an aluminum nose cone. You know how rare that is? Right. I mean, there's been a lot of work put into that. Believe me, there are a lot of sweat and tears. I went and met some guys at something called uh, Metal Meat. There was a, gr- a forum that I got on to start to learn how to do that. And uh, I went there and some guys gave me tips and pointers. And that's why I said, I don't think I could do it again. Cause it wasn't, I had, I had a lot of, a lot of, of, of tips on what to do and what not to do and where I should be doing things mm-hmm. both on, on that and the fenders, which I'm trying to drag out now. Oh, and you've got the fenders uh, too. Very cool. The fenders are the other, are the other, the other between the two of them. And that's why I won't drive with the fenders on is I got so much work in them until I can make molds. I don't think I'm comfortable doing it. Cause we have some pretty bad roads around here. So you're but, trying to do a, do a buck on, on for them and, and, uh, do some panel beating. Wow. That's nice. There's a lot. I mean, you, it's hard to see, but there's curve and crown everywhere. I know. So have I designed you, it to have the, have you the a French tail wheel? lights. What's that? Have you got a French wheel or how did you manage? Uh, yeah, an Eng- uh, English wheel. I do. I yeah. s- sadly during oh, moving the anvils disappeared. The the wheel, the rollers yep. for it. Got it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I need a new set if I ever want to do it again. But I managed to finish most everything, mm-hmm. and uh, so these are eventually I'm going to make molds off this too. Once I can figure out how to do a fiberglass mold off the the nose cone, mm-hmm. the fenders will be next. And once in a while it'll stay in place mm-hmm. there we go that's roughly it's sitting a little high it'll be a little bit lower than that mm-hmm. but i'd like to try to integrate it and i think what i'll do is some sort of piece of yeah, trim that's going to go across yeah. to that'll meet the cool. other one but uh that'll look cool. originally i wanted to do pontoon fenders yeah but i didn't see ones that i like i, I saw I the I've, uh the darker version What's I've, seen some, I've seen some pontoon f- uh, fenders that look like, well, pontoons, and I haven't seen anything that looked really good. The, the, me too. The only one, I saw one in, in the original champion book. Somebody had a pretty cool set. Mm-hmm. And what really made me interested in them is, is I would recommend people to research the Donkervoort. Mm-hmm. I'm not even, it's D-O-N-K-E-R-V-O-O-R-T. Yep. R-S-0-6. Okay. And it's their, it's one of their, their Lotus base cars that has a closed top and it has pontoon fenders, but they completely cover the front. They go all the way down to what they have is a, uh, they have a carbon fiber, uh, base that the whole car is based on. And I would, for me to have done that, I would have, would have had to have, added a steel or aluminum plate on the bottom i probably would have added a couple hundred pounds to it and it was just wasn't worth the hassle mm-hmm. i've i know for the last five or six years i've been kind of chomping my bits to finish this and start on something else i want i kind of i kind of want to do a prototype but i just money and time aren't on my side right now yeah but so, uh that's just the coolest thing nathan you have given me a whole bunch of time, and <laughs> what a what an experience for me and for everybody else who's who's watching this. This is just like unbelievable. So hopefully this year will be will change that, and we'll be back to to hopefully be able to go from the build log into the into the the finished the finished yeah. uh, and the enjoy section, log. but and the enjoy log. You know, yeah, you know. It's it's one of those toys, you know. Um, it's just like you you said, you, we we built it. We have a, so much, not so much the money into it. I think it's the personal investment of ourselves that's into it. And you just don't want to wrap it around a tree or or pile it into a wall at a track, you know. I, I mean, I I'll have to send some pictures. I actually, uh, I want to say, was it two years ago? Yeah, mm-hmm. two years ago, we had a big meet here, and it's mostly it's all older cars. I was able to squeak it in. Mm-hmm. And on Saturday, they have an open dirt track. 
Yeah. And I spent the whole day giving kids rides around the dirt track. Oh yeah. Cool. Just dogging it. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so I mean, it, it, and a lot of people, you know, it, it's fun seeing other people happy from riding it because yeah, a lot yeah. of people like to ride it, especially kids. Kids like oh, to yeah. ride it. Well, both my kids love it. Yeah. But. Well, Nathan, what can I say? Thanks a lot.